What's going on, bro? Everything good? Yeah, everything good. You? Yeah, not too bad, man. Just this um, this pandemic, you find yourself doing other things, you know, gardening, yeah. reading books, you know, trying to keep busy, you know. What about you? Yeah. Is it just Have you been doing anything different or has it just been the usual training for you? Actually, the training have been quite the usual. Well, the... Um... The training facility is quite empty because it's only elites, elite active there. But but everything around the training is not normal. Yeah. So how did you um how did you first get started with your with your jumping? Um, like I did soccer or football, um, basketball, and uh, I don't know what it's called. Whatever for. From I was six years old, but then mm. like I got tired of the team team yeah. sports because nobody gave as much as I do the common stuff. Mm. And, and I, yeah, I tried track and field when I was like thirteen years old. Yeah, and uh, I've always been fast and uh, good at jumping. Like yeah, yeah. So I just the, did every every every. every um, everything and yeah fun. Mm -hmm. jumping was fun <laughs> so with the team sports was you um because you football there's a lot of with just arguments the confrontations you thought let me just let me just let me just do individual sport is that that's that's what you were thinking <laughs> yeah like i could not keep out of uh, the heat so to speak like if i pass somebody and like they don't run for it i'm yes I just can't be quiet because, like, if you're tired, go and change. Especially when it's kids, like, yeah, mm. um, yeah. It, I, I got into like uh, teams that were supposed to get a lot of help and, like, yeah, yeah. the developing team, whatever. But yeah. like, it was always the same. Mm. Makes sense. E egos and like. <laughs> And I and I really didn't like playing tournaments or cups or whatever. And like, yeah, I was on the bench for like oh, half goodness. the games because, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got a medal. Like, what? It's not all my effort. Um, yeah, makes sense. So, so I guess um when you started um um you didn't think of the no um, no other events, nothing. In, you didn't think of no track events. It was just always the jumping for you. Or did you think I might try this? Or uh, I was not so good in any event, mm. but I thought sprinting and jumping was the most fun. Uh, so like I was really late developed, like but my body, like you know, teenager. Mm. I was like four years behind or whatever. So it was really never on the podium or like yeah yeah but just sprinting and jumping was the most fun i was thinking of all the other events but actually mm. like because my coach at the time was an old decathlete mm. i was thinking of that but like high jump and i've never been able to do a good high jump <laughs> even though i can jump high but yeah yeah hi <laughs> You jump higher but forward <laughs> exactly <laughs> makes no sense to like run in and then stop and make all yeah. that power go straight up like mm. so when um when you um when you do triple jump and even i suppose this applies with long jump as well how do you how did you decide which um which foot you'll take off of is that your is it just your stronger foot because obviously every, mm. everyone play football might have a stronger foot or do you just run and just see which one happens? How did you work it out? Yeah, I think it was mostly like that. Like, yeah, when I first started, try a triple jump, okay? And then I run in and then the right foot came first. Yeah, it was, mm. and it is my stronger foot as well. So, yeah, it just... <laughs> yeah. So what's, um, what's a typical day for you? Like, what do you do in, like, a normal training session for triple jump is it just uh just the plyometrics to kind of 
jumping jumping activities or uh we have like let's say three three different jump days and uh, well overall over the whole year it's a lot different because it's different periods but like uh, during the groundwork um yeah when it's not competition season it's like we do very much um quantity yeah quantity yeah. slow easy like no tension just the work like a lot of jumps mm. um being comfortable but right now um going into competition in like one month and uh, we're starting to we still have one uh, quantity session mm. one quality um where I put on spikes and like easy approaches and just continue the nice feeling and do some box jumps and so. No, box, box jumps are killers, man. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. To get that. Because like, yeah, coming from uh, higher height down, then mm -hmm. it's, um, you get to practice that feeling going more, like in a full approach, triple jump. If you do full approach triple jump, it's yeah. Mm, yeah. When I've um previously when I'm talking to um four hundred meter runners, they've said it's it's tricky to acclimatize and stuff, and they've said how four hundred meters is the toughest um track event to train for. Do you think um triple jump is tough to train for? Surely. It's really hard to do the right thing for the right amount of Hmm. I'm struggling with my English. Uh, oh, the matter sure. about training. Yeah, 400 meters is for sure yeah, one the of the toughest track events. Toughest track events. To train, absolutely. And triple jump, like, you can know everything you need to do yeah. to get better, but yeah. you really can't because if you do everything, you're going to damage uh, your body. Yeah. So yeah. You have to choose like exactly and really recover your foot mm. and knees because, like, yeah, without those, you can't jump anyway. So it's a yeah. hard combination. I yeah. think one of the things you can just, of course, mm. is you have to recover there as well, but like, it's not yeah. the impacts. Um, mm. Yeah, it's monotonous um, sometimes with training, especially when I was training. Um, so is there, is there any time you're training, you kind of, there must be a session where you just get bored or something. Or is, there, is, there, is there a part of training which you don't, you just don't enjoy? Maybe, I don't know, um, for example, gym works or stretching. Is there a part of training which you just don't like to do? But you have to do it. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, but it's like, yeah, I got bored. I get bored, but like, I I don't have anything in my training that I'm not, I don't know, that I'm not comfortable with. Like, yeah. I, I, everything I do in my training, I know this is what I need for this detail or whatever. So it's not hard to like, okay, whatever, I'm bored, but tomorrow it's jumping so let's go today mm. it's some boring shit like yeah um it's yeah, definitely it's... more hard during the uh, groundwork do you yeah, have a better groundwork. word like yeah 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 groundwork i know what you're groundwork, saying yeah. i know what you're saying yeah, yeah yeah it's tricky and especially um uh, what's it what's what's it like with the weather what's it like when when you're getting ready for training and for example you might see it raining or something is it just is it just the same is it the same session or or how does the session switch up from there uh like if you're planning to do box jumps yeah you definitely plan something else because that's just slippery <laughs> that doesn't work like and if it's really really bad weather we yeah we have a really nice indoors and outdoors so we can choose if you want to is not a huge problem actually yeah and this we usually what, go inside yeah. if it's, yeah. mm. 
And to um, truncate this next question, I was going to ask, how important is the approach when you're doing a triple jump to get your strides in and just... It's like one of the most important things. Yeah. Not like the approach doesn't need to be perfect in my opinion it but the the um, the belief in it the like the comfort the if you don't believe yourself in the approach mm. like if you run too fast for your comfort level and you feel like this is where i die then you rarely succeed like to be build up that comfort and like in this speed i can work and uh, I'm not too tense. I'm not too wobbly either, but like, yeah. But the speed. Yeah. You can't go in and just like, yeah, okay, I'm comfortable with this speed, but yeah, you have to have some speed, of course. Yeah. And, um, and in the middle of a competition, does your, um, your length of rides ever, ever change sort of thing? So if you, if you do a jump mm -hmm. and it's a good jump, but you're thinking, oh, I, I still I had space for another couple strides. Do you do you ever move back for your next jump or do you just keep it the way you was? I nah, because I I take the approach we have been practicing with. So it rarely yeah. happens that like I get the other foot there or something. Well, if I <laughs> if I'm just adrenaline brain start with the wrong foot, of course, but like. My approach is so well driven into my spine. So like, yeah, but of course, some competitions I'm like two foot off or two feet over. So then the mm. day of the competition can, yeah. But that's yeah. not me. Then it's move. Yeah. Mm. I was just wondering, cause, cause when I, um, cause, cause when I do, when I do officiating, uh, um, I uh, certain uh, competitions. I see uh, these. These are these are with the younger year groups. So someone might might do a triple jump from from this. Um, they might start their run up from here. Then everyone everyone sort of follows sort of thing. Uh, you know what? Mm. They might they might see them do a good jump. They might think, oh, I need to start from there. But it's not mm. always the case. Do you agree with that? I agree with that hundred percent. That's like yeah. Did did you say it was like kids? Or yeah, like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was kids. Yeah, the young exactly. group. Like, yeah, I'm like, thinking like that as well. Yeah. So like, I jump five meters in a long jump, and the dude, the other kids jump in six meters. Okay, well he starts from there, so I have to start from there as well. But a kid can think like this, but mm. the journey, like what you do when you're a kid, doesn't really matter. Of course, it's easier to go through the years if you have success and like get on the mm. podium, you get the um, the popularity or whatever. Um, but like, I never had that really. When mm. I was 18, maybe I started to win some. Um, and right now, like I'm more actually happy for that. Just do my thing. Um, my approach like i trust this i trust my coach yeah. that's it yeah so you um you trust your coach um ha um so what's it like when you change your coach is it um is it the same kind of training or does it does it ever change because because you might do something with a previous coach and then and then your new coach might not might not like agree with that sort of thing has that yeah. ever sort of sort of happened? And how do you deal with that? For me, honesty is just the main key. Um, mm. To talk, really to talk. Like if I, yeah. I'm doubting something in my new coach uh, program, yeah. and just being able to say that, like, why are we doing this? And if the coach is just like, because I've been doing this all the time. And no, that doesn't yeah. do it for me. Like, yeah. oh, this helps you with your knee or whatever. Like, and if I buy it, yeah, okay. <laughs> then I can just, I have to, I don't like it, but I can get behind that. So, um, 
but I, I have I've had one coach for like when I started to very very recently, and he's been working amazing. Um, so when I got my new coach, of course he have some new stuff that we have to push in, but um, yeah, my new coach, what you've been doing works. So let's not change everything because we can change everything. We just let's see what we can mm -hmm. improve and continue because your yeah, my progression is uh, climbing steadily yeah have, have you ever have you ever worked on something in training which didn't quite work in the in the competition and how do yeah. you, and if and and how do you kind of how do you bounce back from that do you just carry on trying it or do you talk to your coach and say let's let's stop this shit sort of thing <laughs> uh yeah for sure um it was more things like that earlier because the, <laughs> yeah. the more experience we get the more mistakes you do but uh, uh i'm sorry with coming up with like a, an example but yeah i can just agree with you for sure like uh, being able same there, uh, honesty and just uh, open-minded. Uh, mm. To be being able to like adapt. Sure, mm. you have to have a good plan, and like the plan can be amazing, but there's so much that can happen, and like to adapt at the right time with the right mindset, and like that's almost a bigger thing for me than being able to do the perfect plan yeah so what is it what is it like what is it like fouling what's going through your head when you see that 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 red that that red flag ah <laughs> uh, uh i just have to put in my charge one more <laughs> it's a special feeling <laughs> shit jump yes yeah fuck it but like <laughs> it's rarely a shit jump when you do that one centimeter like fall um like my last jump uh, during indoors european championship if i'd done that i would have been maybe fourth or something um mm. And of course, be closer to getting that 17 meters. So it it sucks, but mm. thinking about how my qualification was, like barely jumping 16 and mm. having some struggles with the feeling. And then in the last attempt, get up that. I mostly go towards positive because, like, yeah, I did an amazing jump. It was that part, but it's there's nothing I could do have done. Like I I went I bet it all and mm. I, oh, yeah. It will come. It will um, there will be another time when it's uh, approved or like yeah. Yeah. Uh, and do you agree that Triple jump. It's um, it's an exciting event. Do you agree with that? <laughs> yeah, it's a real exciting event because, like, when you get that perfect hit, you can improve your personal bet just so much, and like, anyone can do it. There's like, when the high tier um triple jump competition is just like who can get the best hit and just fly it's mm, yeah. yeah you have six attempts um i feel like you can actually see the um, the mechanic more like we're gonna compare to long jump it's full speed it's the board and then it's over but here it's like full speed board Step, step, and then mm. the pit. It, yeah, I'm watching that perfect jump. Is just yeah, adrenaline. 
Uh, yeah, adrenaline, yeah. Um, so um, when you when you do a good jump, obviously it's a good feeling. Mm. Then next up, um, um, another arrival mat jump, and um, and he set he sets a really big target for everyone. Is it like? <laughs> Is it like in your next jump? Are you kind of you kind of impetuous with it because you're you trying because you need to get back with him, or is it just you're still focused on just doing your own jump? Is there a need to to kind of catch him on your next jump? Yeah, yeah. I love. I actually love when that happens. I I I usually get so pumped mm. like when somebody. Yeah, right races the competition like. Of course, I have to feel like I I can do that as well. Like my last jump was good, uh, I can improve this. And like, yeah, the competition, like uh, head to head, is I love it. Mm. And uh, and when, because um, I was I think it was in oh, what Olympics? I think it's London actually, London 2012. Um, Christian Taylor he failed his first um in the final. He failed his first mm. um two jumps. So, so when you um, if if that was to happen with you, if you if you got six or ten, if you fell your first two or three, is mm. it is it kind of panic now? Like, oh, this For fourth sure. one, I, I I need to I need to get on the board, this sort of thing. I need to. Yeah, that's a panic for sure. Um, but this is like that is the situation. What can I do best right now? It's not. It's not the dub for sure. Mm. <laughs> the best thing I can. I have one attempt left. Let's not do anything extraordinary. Let's do everything exactly as I've trained. Um, and if my first and second attempts have been close, I'm usually not too panic uh, mm. <laughs> thrilled. But because, uh, like, during. Uh, um team i don't know what's called in uh, World european teams. championship for teams yeah european teams jump yeah 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 i did i did <laughs> it's not the same as the olympics for taylor of course but i failed my <laughs> first and second attempts but uh, i was like damn I'm, I'm feeling like i'm in my best shape ever uh yeah. it's not weird that i'm missing the board right now because i'm never run this fast um mm. and like if i just get a hit i'm gonna do a pb it's not gonna be like that and uh, every time but like yeah i was just okay i have one attempt left um let's get it and i did the 1655 in um a headwind <laughs> so like <laughs> yeah i was just i was funny i was just about to mention the headwind <laughs> headwind tailwind and all the stuff how do you train for that? Is like, especially when you don't, especially when there's times you don't know um, what the wind will be like on that day. So how do you, yeah. how how do you prepare for that sort of thing? Um, to just yeah, to jump in the headwind in the training as well. Like, mm. if you can, I can often choose which pit I want to jump in, and of course I take the one with. The, wind in my back but yeah. um, sometimes I choose the one when I get the wind in my face and because it's gonna going to happen so when I'm there on the competition it's not like what is this I've never jumped with this before um, and yeah a little bit of the same thing there <laughs> it, it is the circumstances of the mm. jump I am to do, so let's make the best of it. Mm. So with this, obviously with this pandemic, with this tranquility and stuff, I would say, what's it, um, what's it like um, with no fans, with little fans, I should say, in the stadium? Because there was a few people in Turin, you know. <laughs> yeah, that that's hard for me. Like, I'm such an audience jumper. I love the audience. Mm. Feeling the atmosphere and like, I don't uh, like. I love the audience being in the audience, <laughs> feeling mm. like somebody 
is doing something extraordinary like everyone you know that the aimments of like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. i missed the audience so much it was weird going to my first individual championship because yeah mm. i've been dreaming of it for so long and like every mm. dream had the audience and now it was no audience it was um disappointing mm. so you've always um even even before even before that um when you're when you compete in your country is it um uh, how do you feel of when you're performing in front of like for example friends and family does that help you or do you get more more nervous when like people close to you are, are watching you or is it, it helps me so much yeah i do get nervous as well like then my friends have gone like three hours in a car to watch me I better mm. perform. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, those thoughts are there as well. But like, I get mostly positive out of it. Yeah. Like, I I want that kind of pressure actually. Yeah, so. it's good pressure. That's why I feel. Yeah. yeah. Of course, if I felt like, mm, yikes, the couple of weeks early training haven't been feeling good, and like. That's the other thing. Um, when I'm on the track and in a form I'm confident with, I love it. Uh, mm. But if it, yeah, if I don't feel the confidence, then it's more hard. Yeah, mm. and um, and especially within um, with, within the bigger competitions, um, the Olympics and the World Champs, especially when we see people, um, they're doing their jumps, they're doing their throws. They're talking with their coaches, talking with their coaches in between events. Um, is that something you're always doing after every jump? My coach talk to him, or you... mm, not or always. It, de like, it depends on how good or how bad the jump was. Would you say exactly? Yeah. yeah. If it was like my first attempt, and I feel like yeah, there's nothing to say. That was just yeah. crap focus. Uh, I was aiming too hard, too far, and like, okay, calm down and just, yeah. And my coach know that, so I'm like, yeah, that that was, uh, and then, of course, if you see something, but well, I'm used to that because I can really over overdo things, like over charge. So we know that, and I'm just like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> wait, sorry. and let's make an, a second attempt. Um, of course, if you see something I've never done before, he, yeah. he, he winks me in and like, you're doing this, you've never done that. Be aware of that. But like, yeah. Uh, and when I'm jumping good, it's just like sharing the happiness. Mm. <laughs> but, oh, that was amazing. And like, you, you can still do this or, yeah. Yeah. And especially when you're, um, when, when you do, when you reach a final, would you prefer actually go first like obviously if you had the, the chance to jump first for everyone to set the target or would you see what everyone else is doing first Yo. 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 You're back. Yo, You're back. my bad. My bad. The battery. <laughs> I didn't realize. 
I was thinking it was me, so I just I took my earphones out. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> but you reacted like that. I thought it was you as well, but then like, oh yeah. shit, it's my yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So what? Uh, yeah, I was asking. Um, would you, if you had a choice, would you want to go? Would you want to jump first in a final to kind of say yeah? I'm gonna, or would you want to see what everyone else is doing first so you can? I wouldn't mind. No, 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 no. I would prefer. I would prefer to jump first. Yeah, to just get on, get into the competition. Is, yeah, like, yeah, because when I get into the stadium, I'm usually very pumped and just want to start it. Yeah, it was really slow during this indoors uh, championship right now because I was last in the qualification. It took so long time to get the first jump out, and it was, yeah, not nice. It was hard. Yeah. So, obviously, apart from weather and like and like obvious reasons, what's the what's what's the big difference between competing indoors and outdoors in terms of your event? If there's any difference, for me, I would say it's closer to the audience when yeah. there is an audience. So I love that. Um, and like when the audience is uh, clapping and everything, it's, uh, the sound bounces and like yeah, it, it's a closer experience, so to speak. Outdoors, yeah, it can rain, it can be windy, it's like you, the the autistic it's not the same sound it's uh, yeah yeah well the same atmosphere sort of thing it's different kind of mm. yeah well of course i haven't been on the well i've been on in berlin on the olympia stadium and that's like it's very close to the indoor yeah. feeling because it doesn't like yeah yeah be a lot of wind and so but yeah but there's um, but there's not there's not um in terms of training there's not a big big difference in training between for example if you're training for indoor event if you're training for outdoor event it's just nah. still jumping. Yeah, making it <laughs> making it um not more complicated than what it is. Mm. Yeah. Um. Obviously, we're talking about um earlier Christian Taylor. He he mm. has like, his step phase. Is is pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, fantastic, in it, but you know, I'll just say pretty good. Yeah. So, how hard is it to actually um, complete a complete the jump if you have um, a, a bad step phase, sort of thing? Extremely, because like the balance out into the jump is very crucial if you fuck if the step jump fails you really often have some sort of rotation like this or this and then you're supposed to like yeah you lose a lot of speed so maintaining the speed is the absolute main key um like not overdoing the hop stamp and just let it go in the jump phase is usually very effective. Mm. Like almost, I, I usually yeah. think it's yeah. like. Yeah. Oh, I'll stick. Bloody yeah. hell, man. No problem. Back, we're back. Yeah, so don't overthink the, uh, um, the step phase. Yeah, because when I felt yeah. I was getting improvements, clo yeah. closing into the 60 meters, mm. I thought I had to charge more, like more power, more, but it's the complete opposite. I have to relax more, I have to be. So um, it took two years. After, I jumped 1592, 
And it took me mm. two years to realize I have to actually just calm down and let the jump happen. I can't mm. like be in charge of everything. I can't have to actually wait <laughs> yeah. uh, in the air and so. So um, I'm just running uh, in my head. I'm just running over the board. Mm. I'm not jumping. I'm just running. Yeah. The, the triple jump starts for me at the step. Mm. And obviously when I talk with um, track track athletes, they talk about watching races back. You always, because obviously um, you might have hot, you might go one competition of how how many jumps are you doing so do you watch all of them back yeah oh uh, yeah all of them especially the good ones <laughs> yeah to raise the confidence like i can't do this because like um, it's rarely you get that perfect jump out uh so piecing taking the pieces that actually exist is very important to like one day I can lay that puzzle because I've done every piece. Yeah. More and more and more and more, and one day it will come. Yeah. And do you even? Yeah, like you just you, you sort of said you even you can even even in the good jumps you can even see things which which you can improve on. Yeah, there's like always something. I mean, there's rarely a jump. There's nothing to improve. Even for Christian Taylor or uh, anybody. Will Clay, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, yeah, Will Clay, exactly. There's almost every, almost um, always something to improve. Looking at Jonathan Edwards, though, <laughs> the world <laughs> record or the um, 1643 or what it is, it doesn't feel like it. there's <laughs> mm. a lot to improve there, but... <laughs> Uh, 18, 1839, bro. Jonathan Edwards. Was the yeah, the yeah, 29 for sure. But the yeah, jump, 18. have you said seen the one with the uh, too much wind? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's just <laughs> insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was um, how was Poland? How was the how was the talk to me about the European indoors? How was that experience? Yeah. It was amazing to finally make it to the, my first individual championship. Yeah. As I say, it's absolutely a dream. To take to finally take that step, it was yeah, a confirmation on what I'm doing is right. Um, and I'm not chasing a impossible dream. Um, it was really weird because like it's hard to I often visualize what's mm. about to happen like um, i had no idea this time and mm. uh, especially with the covid restrictions and so, so like getting there at 2 a.m uh, sitting yeah. in a garage waiting for the covid tests yeah freezing um i thought like competitions like this are so well planned there's really nothing that can go wrong but it was like <laughs> it's, yeah. it, <laughs> It, anything can happen, of course. Yeah. So obviously, in in the qualifying, in the um, you you, you jump the um, sixteen twenty eight, then you done mm -hmm. sixteen twenty eight again. Um, what's that feeling like when you when you match what you did? Is it a bit? Is it a, even a bit disappointed that you didn't go further? That you just did the same thing, sort of thing. <laughs> when I, sorry, I didn't really catch you when I um, jumped sixteen twenty eight and yeah. Um, yeah, when at the indoors, when you qualify for the final, you jumped that mm -hmm. twice. I'm sure, you jumped it twice. So I was just asking, was it a bit? Um, were you a bit guy that that you didn't that you jumped the the same exactly the same distance and not further sort of thing? Yeah, that like in the yeah exactly. That's not that's a punch on the confidence for sure. Like yeah. the days before and during the just easy training, I felt so in good shape. Like, um, I knew I could jump far, and jumping mm. sixteen twenty-eight is not far. So mm. it was really about mm. what is wrong. Usually, I have a clue what it is, but this time I was, I was like, damn, 
I really don't feel what's wrong right now. And it was really tough. And mm. so I watched the jump so many times at the hotel. And like, I have to figure this out for the final. And it's, mm. I talked oh. to my call back and uh, my coach and I, I just talked to a lot of people and like, and suddenly it opened, uh, I saw it. Mm. So obviously, you know, a jump says eight people in the final. Um, when you when you come, obviously, when you come eight from the qualifying, is that um, is that good pressure? Because now you want to prove to yourself that listen, I'm not coming eight from the final, sort of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I barely made the final, and yeah. I knew I could jump further. So, yeah, it, that was my um, my. Uh, my thought process, like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to the final. I'm not coming last. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to jump better. Well, if yeah. seven people jump 70 meters, it's fine. <laughs> That's just insane. <laughs> it's not going to happen though. But like, yeah, I'm going to do my best. And uh, I'm for sure not going to finish last if so, if I manage my best. Mm. And that... would, yeah. And although you came six, um, is it a bit, um, bit of a shame? Obviously, you um, the foul four out of six, was it? Yeah, hmm. is that a bit of a shame that you did that? Yeah, but I'm still happy I managed that regarding the jumping, how the jumping looked in the qualification and then uh, in the final as well. I'm really happy I did 1645, or what it was like. Yeah, 1645, yeah. In, and then uh, 1645, 1645, and then you've done 1643 in round four. 43, yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with those lanes because, like, with the problem from the qualification. Um, and I'm even more happier, of course, with that fourth jump. Uh, yeah. Like, man. I had it. I had it. It sucks. If I just have done it, like, but it mm. was so deep inside, so it was hard to reach, but I did reach it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because you had leave one from from Armenia came fifth. Mm. I, I I was just looking at something. So in in round five, he was the only one that jumped. So all of you failed in round five, and he's the oh, only wow, one. Oh actually. Yeah. What's so? What is? Uh, what's that like? So say <laughs> someone actually jumps and everyone else fails. Is is that momentum or is it a bit like uh, everyone just? I think no one cared about round five. Or <laughs> it's crazy, man. Um, me personally, I wasn't aware of that. I'm not yeah. looking at the other jumpers. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. So I really didn't know. Uh, speaking mm -hmm. for myself, uh, yeah. I'm just like jump five is where it usually feels quite serious. Damn. There's two jumps left in competition. I'm not satisfied with what I've done. I'm feeling I can jump better. So it's really time to compose it. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I just go wild. So yeah, then, yeah. then you're going to step over the board. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, I see you got the great man from Portugal there, got the gold, <laughs> Pedro. Hmm. How good is he? He's a machine. Uh, he is. He's so impressive. Like watching back, I can see he's he's not happy because yeah. Yeah, he's... yeah. I was about to ask that. Yeah. Mm. He have jumped eighteen meters, um, and you see he's an eighteen meters jumper. Um, it's the same there, like. He know what he can. I, I bet if he's he's feeling what he he can do. Uh, so like when he jumped seventeen, what was it? 30, 40? Yeah, something? seventeen yeah. thirty. Seventeen yeah, thirty. In, in the first jump, he was like, "What? What is this?" <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe jump, a bit yeah. a bit for show, but um, I'm quite sure he felt like, "Damn, we have been practicing with this," and I didn't like. Mm, where's my mm. 18? Closer to 18, I don't know. 
Mm. Yeah. I need I, like, I haven't been training. Like I should jump six. I should. I can jump 16, 70 in an okay jump. And I went in and did like seven and did seven, 16, 29. And like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. That shows it's um it's much obviously much easier in training and the yeah. lower and the lesser competitions isn't it it's like yeah and it just shows how a, just a day can screw you over and like yeah i mean maybe it's a christian taylor season opener now um he did 16 19 it just oh. showed that even the best can like I don't know if it had like four step approach or something like Rough that. Days, yeah. Yeah. But in triple jump it's so much critical, like jumping eight decimeters off your PBs, it's going to happen. It's going to suck. But yeah. yeah. And yeah, I was just saying obviously you got Max from Germany, Alexis Coppello and um someone who else? There's Max leave one. Leave one. So them three, um, they all got they all got SBs, they all got seasons best in that final. So is it um do you think they'll take some positive for, from that, even though they finished miles behind Pedro, but they got seasons best? What's that? What do you think that kind of feeling is like getting a season's best, but you, you didn't come close to winning, sort of thing. If you was in their position. Mm. Just those people as well have such a capacity and they have yeah. such good personal bests. But I think they must be so used to like hitting those 17 meters jumps plus. It's like jumping through a needle head. <laughs> no matter, yeah, this one, like, and how. And in order to do that, you have to bet it all, like all in. Um, mm. And when you're all in, like hitting a needle thread is just, it, you're not going to succeed every time. That's just how it is. How good you how good you are is not going to happen every time you bet it all. Mm. Yeah. Can you can still hear me? Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah, so... Yeah. Which, when you started, who was you? Was there anyone you was looking up to in the triple jump? Any triple jumpers you would take inspiration Jonathan from? Hmm? Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards and uh, Tamgo, Teddy Tamgo. Oh, yeah. Like, people said, even though I jumped like 40 meters, people came to me and just said, fill my head with, oh, you remind me of Jonathan Edwards. You remind me of Teddy Tamgo. So that was like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at them, yeah. And looking at the videos of them competing, is, I want to do that. And I actually mm. think I can do somewhat that. <laughs> Believing in it. Mm. Um, and would you say your, um, your jumping is kind of, um, is it is it based on the speed you have, or is it more more your technique sort of? I would say, yeah, it's my technique most. I'm fast, but I'm not running full speed at the board because I can jump, triple jump. And so, yeah, I would say so composed and well balanced, I can make it technique and um, balance, not overdo with, not to be the tense. And yeah. And how Im how important is how important is is the rhythm within triple jump? <laughs> it's insanely important because, like, if you just that is the problem with jumping seventeen meters for the first time, because mm. that's a certain kind of rhythm. On the training, you have the rhythm of like fifteen meters. Um, to get in that, ah, this is the rhythm of 70 meter jump is, but well, it's not exactly like this, but yeah. Um, mm -hmm. 
where the patient is supposed to like be placed. Like, okay, do I wait? Do I spread out? Do I when do I uh, pull in my leg to do the step? How do I keep my most speed? And when you're unsure, I use I easily like look down. Okay, there's the ground, but then it's over. Um, just have a false security eyes straight ahead and just exactly that's the rhythm just mm -hmm. okay now no mm. mm. and is your and is your rhythm or your momentum ever um ever ever stopped when when an official might put his hand when you're ready to jump official might put his hand up and say no 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 wait wait for this wait for the race to go and stuff <laughs> yeah that happens way too often now <laughs> that's oh how do you regroup man because that's like, you know, that's, that's, that's similar to what I was talking about. When I'm talking to um, track athletes, I ask them this about when there's a full start. How do you regroup? Because you're ready to go. Then you've got to stop. You've got to get, you know, how do you regroup as a jumper when that happens to you? I try to be in the moment. Mm. Like, okay, what just happened? I, I, I can't just ignore it. So I'm um, being in the moment, I'm like, okay, what happened? Uh, okay, there's another race. That sucks. I was ready to jump. <laughs> um, like, okay, how many minutes do I have to my next jump now? Okay, yeah. I have two minutes. Uh, if music is allowed, yeah, I go and uh, just listen to that song again. Uh, or, uh, yeah. Mm. I my my attempt is still uh, on the go. Let's make the best of it. Uh, mm -hmm. It try it, sometimes uh, trying to awake some kind of anger to the ones who yeah. stopped me. Like, uh. damn, I'm I, I, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna show you <laughs> what happens. <laughs> it doesn't really succeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is that what? So you mentioned music. Um, so prior to like walking out into your into your final, is that what you're doing? You're just you're relaxed. You're playing music. Any any routines you're doing before you jump, or is it just just stay chilled sort of thing? I have my routines. Nothing like extraordinary, but I very often do what feels best that day. Yeah. Like if. No superstitions, it's... sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but like, no, nah, nothing superstition. Like, I have to, I don't know, go to the toilet three times before or something. Yeah. Like, okay, I have to go. <laughs> it's 20 minutes of the call ring. Uh, okay, let's do it now. Mm. And like, what music I want to listen to, I can have prepared, like, damn, this list is going to be lit. I'm going to like feel so pumped. And on the day, like, nah, <laughs> this. I don't want to listen to this. Uh, mm. That's okay. So, so. Go with the rhythm. Go be in the moment to feel like, what do I need now? What do I want? What do I want to happen? How do I feel? Like, yeah. Solve mm. everything there. Mm. And what's the, um, what's the, uh, what's the love like back home in, um, in your country for athletics? Are they very, they supportive? The Swedish people? Um, mm, it is not the biggest sport, no. sadly. Um, there are a lot of love and uh, support for sure, but like reaching the big audience is like, yeah, when you succeed, <laughs> like a big succeed, not yeah. like you do a half meter PB, that's probably not gonna hit the newspaper because, like. Yeah, you didn't win a medal or whatever. Um, as soon as you get like, oh, you pee in the medal like that, everybody, oh, I love you, I always believed in you. And then, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Jordan there is just like. <laughs> so one day, one day, would you like, would you like maybe, maybe a world champs in, in Sweden? <laughs> World Championship in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, so that yeah. would be amazing. Like we have, uh, we have some really good tracks, and 
Yeah, for sure. Where the it would be such a thing to jump um, where Edwards set the it's only Sweden who will be so like and Christian Olsen have won the European Championship there as well I think or was it Worlds? I think it's Worlds. Yeah, I think it's Worlds as well. To jump in the same stadium as the videos I've been watching, I would love it. Mm. And if you ever have you ever had a jump where you've kind of even you've been kind of wow I can't believe you've ever shocked yourself yeah a lot of times yeah you look up at the board and then you see it was like oh wow didn't know I dropped yeah. that far yeah a lot of the, um, my whole 2019 was like that <laughs> it was the team European Championship it was our we have a competition towards our neighbours Finland mm. Mm. Uh, we have Finn Kampen. <laughs> it's only Swedes and yeah, mm. Finns versus each other. And like I beat um, Simo Lipsen and a great, great jumper, jumped down 17 meters. Uh, he, he was preparing for uh, Doha. <laughs> yeah. And I could just, uh, I wasn't there. It was like I would have been done there. It looks like heavenly jump. So I could just go all in for the this. Think camp and all. <laughs> so he was in hard tail training and I was, yeah. And I did 17, 16, 62 in first jump, but it was like a walk on the park. Mm. It was amazing. I felt like mm. I can jump 70 meters today, but um, I didn't yeah. do it because I was got too tense and tried too much. Yeah. And, um, I feel as though with 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 jumping um, when you jump when you're qualifying for finals, I feel even even with some some competition I've seen Will Clay, um, and even and even with the European indoors, obviously with the qualifying, um, a few a few guys like a Pedro, he um he, he jumped like seventeen zero three, and he mm -hmm. and he qualified for the final. Um, do you um so if you can, would, would you just qualify straight away or would you just have a few jumps just kind of take it easy to try and get warm up or would you just want to one jump then qualify if you can one jump if, yeah. I, if I could one jump yeah it would boost my confidence so much just having okay I need to jump 70 meters uh what do I need to do for to do 70 meters do it and then yes yes the plan worked the, I had I had it in under control. Yeah. And um who who's the who do you say is the best um the best opponent that you've come up against so far? Uh Christian Taylor, for sure. Yeah, of course, of course. When I was in uh, East of Berlin, uh, it was he's such a sportsmanship guy. Humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah was so amazing he got so he got so uh, excited when i tried to jump 70 meters for the first time i could do it that there as well but like yeah <laughs> the common stuff i tried too much um we was like cheering me all he stood by the board and i was like let's go <laughs> it was so it was such a joy to share the like excitement and the adrenaline with it mm. So you, um, when you first started jumping, was you favoring um, the hitch kick, or where do you? What's your kind of? What's your kind of? Um, what's your perfect technique for, for actually landing? I should say. <laughs> I think my landing is the worst part. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's oh, a bad question for me. <laughs> so, like, if you see my last jump in uh, indoors now, you can see my yeah. foot. I like, mm. I dropped my foot. Mm. I, uh, I did the same in East of Berlin. I did 1660 and my foot was like, Ooh. I'm just gonna, I think I can show you. <laughs> it was just like, my land, this is just, that's not the way to do it. Mm. Um, so that's what you need to improve. Oh, damn. Like, what the fuck yeah. is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, that and that's 16. Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, that looks that looks rather erratic, sort of. Yeah. 
now you know what you need to improve on, you know? Speak. Yo, it's me again, yo. <laughs> Every half hour. <laughs> it depends oh, yeah. on how long we go. Uh, it turns off after half an hour because it doesn't. I don't know. So yeah, your um, how do you, how do you go about Im improving that landing sort of? Um, it's hard to answer. I know. I know. It's hard. Yeah. The trying to just take those mistakes in. You know, the, how did that mistake feel? What led to that mistake? Like, see that and analyze it and just don't push it away. But for me, like, take it in and, like, absorb it. <laughs> well, uh, of course, and then to go to the training and, like, don't do that okay how can i get more a better balance because it's really often a balance question for me when i do that leg thing it's like i'm i'm going i'm going to crash on my face so my spine is i have to put in the leg here so okay i have to approach it with a better balance supposedly a better speed out and like reach mm. um keep my eyes yeah break it down and just like mm. Don't see it as a uh, oh um, something bad. See it as a friend that like leads me to the success. Mm. And why do you think um, think people people foul in triple jump? Is it just just as approaching the board? Is it nervousness? Why do you think people foul? Trying too hard, maybe. It, there's thousand answers yeah <laughs> um but like imagine you're on the track you're about to make your approach and you're like oh hmm i'm just a little bit tired a little bit tired um often for me when I feel something in that part, or like my ah, oh, my calf is tired or my calf is hurting, I always, for some reason, try and compensate. And as soon mm. as I start compensate, I go outside the box of the training for the approach. And then like, mm. yeah, one centimeter further or off in the start, every step. Like if I run, I'm compensating, I'm, pushing my hips more and I do just one centimeter in every step when it is 16 steps for an example. Yeah. You have moved your approach with uh, 16 centimeters. Mm. So doing the same thing over and over again with different emotions and different aims, different, like, yeah, it's, impossible mm. you're never going to do the same thing over and over again uh, mm. you can get close but there will be var variety so there mm. will be yeah it's that's not legal it's even um even you're just quite young but what what would you say to what's the one just one piece of advice you'd give to like a, a younger a younger jumper younger triple jumper what do you think? Um, if you surely love what you do, mm. don't rush it. Yeah. Do not rush it. Because like the parts of not jumping as far as you want to, mm. being in that those years is not a bad thing. You need mm. those bad years to figure out what you 
need to do to improve. Um, and you're there's never going to be like the day you su suddenly succeed. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I jumped my first 60 meters jump. If you have not done those bad jumps, you don't have the knowledge to do it again. Yeah. If that makes sense. So, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> being every moment and like learn from everything learn from the surroundings and because mm. if if you really think it's fun and you always improve you will go further um of course not everyone is going to jump 70 meters there's just not going to happen but yeah sure. and take care of your body because yeah if you if you like get injured early because you're chasing the goals that you don't have the body for yet you're going to even if you reach it you're going to have bigger problems than with your knees or f feet mm. and um it's funny you said um don't rush sort of thing mm. because as we know with Jonathan Edwards in in the um, 2000 Olympics, he got the gold when he was he was um 33, 34. Mm. So so you kind of you can't you kind of agree that you know because people always like especially especially with footballers, boxers, and they get into their 30s. People say, oh, look, they're too old and stuff like that. Do you agree? Mm. This is an event where you can actually you can medal when you're that age. So yeah, and. No. I think Edward was like certainly about 30 when he did the world record as well, right? Um, yeah, I think he was 32, 33. Yeah. yeah. And that's not going to be the path for everyone. Every, everyone can't aim for being their best when they're 32. Mm. It's just not the case. Oh, he was like, 29. Yeah. 29, actually. 29, okay. Yeah. But okay. yeah. Still. Yeah, exactly. He did his best jump. He was about 29, and he got a world championship when he was um, 35. Uh, 34, what you said, yeah. Yeah. Um, not, like, and not everyone is going, not everyone, uh, extreme few people would take exactly that path. Jump their best when 29, and then uh, remain on that level. Just as like, yeah, people being an age of 20, being in the first championship, that sucks for somebody mm. like me or someone else that's not in the 20s and like three meters from the final. Um, if you trust your training and your feeling and you love it, like there's no reason to rush it because your path is your path um, and it's unique. You have to figure out what's gonna take you to the next level. Mm, yeah, uh, and um, being involved in athletics and being from, um, being from Sweden, is um, is it just uh, all the, in your country? Uh, when it comes to athletics, obviously it's not the biggest sport, but but are all the are all the eyes sort of on on Mondo? <laughs> Uh, the eyes we do have on our athletics, yeah, for sure, it's a lot of eyes on Mondo. But uh, I'm so happy you have a crazy kid, man. Yeah, yeah, he should have so many eyes as well. Like, yeah. nothing, but like, I yeah, love the uh, broad. Uh, we have so many good people. So, uh, like Daniel Stoll and like. Yeah, Tobias Montle and yeah, Montle, Montle. yeah, just to mention some, but there's a lot more. <laughs> um, we all do get attention for sure. Mm. Um, so it's really those who watch us, yeah, they do love the sport. It's just not, mm. Mm. and um, and I, I was gonna ask, what is what's next for you, man? Um, next for me is we're so 
might go to Spain to do a season starter just to mm. get yeah some nice weather nice feeling no pressure just do the first season start and see how it feels mm. um then and what's uh, the what's the what is the next um next major competition you're looking to to be at uh, in the start of uh, june i think okay. i think it's the six in uh I I don't remember. We did it quite recently, but it's um, I'm I'm trying to get into Parmo Nurmi games in Finland. Oh yeah, if that brings yeah. Uh, it's close to you as well. <laughs> yeah, it's close. It's close, and it's a huge competition. So that would be amazing. Mm. And who is? The, yeah, I'm surely aiming to get that um, high 16, maybe cross 17 um, this mm. summer. Because like, I yeah, I can do the Olympics. Olympics, I'm, yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought you were going to say when I was asking you what's the next major summer. <laughs> That's what I should have said, said as well. <laughs> yeah. I... Took a wrong path in my brain. <laughs> my yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm really aiming for that. And for the um, for the medal position, how far um, how far do you think would get like a medal? Because obviously you've got the the big triple jumpers. How far do you think you'd have to jump to medal? Because it's, it's tough competition, man. It's just... Yeah, I want it to be extremely long, uh, but I think with the current circumstances of COVID. The recently set indoor world record, I think. A huge, huge Zango. Yeah. yeah. So, like the pressure on him, uh, the pressure on Taylor, the pressure on Clay, the pressure on pressure. everyone. I think it's gonna, people gonna going to just aim a little bit too high and it's going to like season the results. Like, okay, people gonna jump extremely far as well but like 17 8 is probably quite close to the medals 70 mm. 70 maybe yeah yeah man best of luck for that thanks for coming on and talking to me bro appreciate that yeah i appreciate it it was fun this was really fun yeah man we'll keep in contact and maybe when you when you medal we'll do a part two <laughs> for sure <laughs> 